No, no, good to see you out here. Um, how are you feeling ahead of the game? Everything okay. Everything okay. We train now. We prepare. Um, and we play the game tomorrow. Everything's okay. You obviously go into it with a big advantage from the first leg. How much has that impacted the way you've prepared for this game? No, the approach is the same. It doesn't mean what we, we did before. It's a new game, a new challenge, new things will happen. So we have to compete well. We have to compete well. It doesn't mean anything what we did before. And we want to, to play good, compete well against a very tough team. I've, I've spoken to a lot of fans today. Many, Obviously, you sold all your tickets straight away. And many fans have come here just to be here who, who haven't got tickets. Does that show you how much they've bought into what's going on with Wolverhampton Wanderers and, and the journey they're on? Yes, and we are very thankful. Um, tomorrow we're going to have our support. I know that I'm aware. <clears throat> but it's, it's, gonna, it's been this way since the beginning. Our fans are, are amazing in the way they support the team. We are very thankful for it. Nuno, when you saw the team sheet last Thursday, were you surprised that Abelardo made so many changes to his team? No, I was not surprised. Um, um, the situation of Spanyol is what you know. Um, I was not surprised, but it was a good team. It was a tough game. Um, we started, uh, Spanyol started the game very well. <clears throat> and they have quality all over the squad. They are quality players. So let's see what happened tomorrow. But for sure, we're going to face a, a, a team full of, of quality players and it's going to be tough. Lots of fans are expecting many changes tomorrow because of the scoreline from the first leg. You've played strong teams throughout this competition. Do you expect it to be your strongest team tomorrow or will you make changes? Uh, we didn't decide yet. We still have a training session today and then we're going to make a decision. But the approach is always the same, trying to find the best solutions for the team. For many Wolves fans, this, is, this Europa League journey has been the best moment of their lives supporting the club. What has been the best moment of your coaching career so far? I hope it's still, still, still in front of me. And in that case, when you leave Wolves, whenever that time is, what would you like to have on your CV as an achievement to say? Um, you know me. What do I'm thinking now? You know what I'm thinking now? Champions League winners? No, I'm thinking about the training session that we have to do. I want the players to be focused. I want the players to, to, to adapt. To, to the stadium of Spanyol to, to make a good preparation for the game and we play good tomorrow. That's what I'm focused on. That's what, the only thing I'm thinking is. But as a, sorry, but as a coach, yes. when you came to the club and the project was sold to you, you must have thought in your head, right, I can go to this club and win this or do this or achieve this. I didn't think anything that you say. Oh. No. You just... No came in and just hoped for the no, best? No, I didn't. Uh, I came in and I, w I work every day before to prepare. I saw a lot of games of, of Wolves in the previous season in the championship. Uh, we work very hard, very hard to make the best decisions for the first day that we came, trying to, to get the players that we need, that we needed in that moment to come and prepare well, the squad for a tough season in front of us in the championship. That's what I thought. No, no, how's uh, how's Johnny? How, how's he doing? He's it? not okay. He didn't come. He didn't come. He's, uh, he's, uh, he's in Compton now. It, what kind of stage is he at? Too early to to we say. Have to evaluate. He had a, a strong kick. I saw. You think, I think you saw the images. It was very very strong impact. Um, he's on pain, but um, now he's he's weight. Normal procedures, treatment, morning and afternoon. Hopefully, he doesn't stay out very long. I don't know. <coughs> you've still got to decide on the team, but could could we possibly see Danielle tomorrow? I know he came in last month. Fans are excited to see him. You know, start a game of football soon. Perhaps could could he be involved in in some capacity? Maybe start. We travel. We travel. Twenty players, eighteen players, all the full squad, and the exception of Johnny, you can see anyone. Espanyol obviously played them last week, and that it's a bit of a difficult predicament there. In but you just have to approach it, I guess, like any other game, and just treat it almost as if I guess it's nil nil. No, not almost. It's it's nil nil. Yeah, yeah. The game of tomorrow is nil nil. So this is how we we face it. We are aware that it's going to be very tough. It's a, a tough stadium to come. 
we have to be very focused. Nuno, I don't know if you saw the referee for tomorrow, the, the name of the referee. No, no. Uh, it's Marco Guida from Italy. And in his last 11 games, he's shown nine red cards. Is that enough reason to warn your players not to give the referee a reason to show a red card tomorrow? I will not speak about that to my players, honestly. We hope the referee does his job, does his job well. We don't have to be focused on, on the referees, what we did before. Let's play the game. Uh, Nuno, you've brought on s several of these troops, you've brought young players with you. Whether they play or not, what do they get out of the experience? You obviously think it's a good experience for them to come and be part of it. Of course, of course. I think it's, um, we've been doing this. Um, you know how, how we approach in terms of squad and in the backup of the 2023s. Today is not uh, under 23, but Max and, and Oscar are here. And it's a fantastic experience. It's the high level of competition. So for them to be involved, not only here, but uh, all the games of the Premier League only can make them better and, and grow uh, as persons and as footballers. So it's good. I think it's good to come to, to experience this, these atmospheres, the demanding of, of the games is good for them. You know, Leo Campan is a player we haven't seen yet for first team or under 23s. Are you, you pleased with what you've seen of him so far? I know he's had a different schedule with Ecuador, but are you pleased with what you've seen in yes, training? I think he's adapting, he's growing. Um, and it's about that in this moment, it's about that. Um, the team receiving him and us trying to, to tell him um, what is the best way, the best way for him to grow as a player. He's inside of our philosophy. I think all the players need time. Um, but he's doing well. He's doing well. No, no. In the past, in English football, often teams who've played in the Europa League have suffered in the Premier League. Generally, your team hasn't done that. How have you managed to do that so far? And how important is what the fitness work the coaches have done behind the scenes? I will not say that we don't suffer. It's tough. It's a very tight schedule, and it's very demanding on on the players. Uh, I think the credit is for them. The way they they compete, the way they prepare themselves to compete, but it's, it's, it's tough, it's tough, it's very tough because uh, if you see the schedule when you play Europa, then you have two days, two days only to play a, a very tough game, always in the Premier League, so um, it's been very demanding, very demanding. The credit, I think, for the players, honestly, for the players, for the staff, today, again, uh, we have a, a strong intervention on them on term, in terms of recovery. We're still on second day after the game, so all these things we have to, to be aware and to take care of all the details. But the players uh, buying, believing and working very hard is what makes things uh, go well.